What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Patrick here. Moving on to the next section, I'm going to start talking about parent and family functions, which is a big part of this chapter. And I'm going to give you a higher level overview of how they work, but then we're going to start getting into more detail as the videos progress. So basically what happens is you're going to have a parent function, and then from that parent function, you're going to be able to derive multiple family functions, pretty much an infinite amount of family functions. Here, I only put three. So what's the difference between a parent function and a family function? Well, a parent function is basically the simple base function. The simple base function, I'll get into a little bit more detail, I'll show you an example of what I mean by this, but that's the definition. That's the way I like to think of a parent function. It's just basically a simple base function. And then a family function that derives from the base function is basically a transformed base function. So you're taking that base function, that very simple base function, and then you are transforming it. And in the next few videos, we're gonna go over different parent functions. And then in the videos after, later on in this chapter, we're gonna show how we take those base functions and then transform them. So to give you an example in this video of a base function and then a couple of transformed base functions from that base, is one of the parent functions we'll be dealing with is x squared. And you've actually already dealt with that in the previous grade. It's just a quadratic. So this here is an example of a parent function, right? It's a simple base function. This is pretty much the most simple quadratic that you can have, x squared. But you could take x squared and you could do a bunch of things with it. So you can maybe vertically stretch it by a factor of 3, so 3x three squared. So this here is a transformed quadratic function. Right? This is a family function of this. So you can maybe vertically stretch it. You can maybe shift it to the right by one unit, translate it to the one by right, uh, to the right. So you're taking this, shifting it over by one unit. Or you can maybe take the quadratic and you can shift it up by two units. Right? And these are just three examples. You could also mix these. Right? So you've seen quadratics where maybe you'll have a uh, vertical stretch and then let's say uh, there's a negative here so it's also reflected in the x-axis and then you're shifting it three to the left and then maybe shifting it four down. Right? This is a quadratic in vertex form. So we took a simple parent function and then transformed it. Right? So all of these are family functions of that simple base function, that simple parent function. And in the next few videos, I'm going to go over the parent functions that we're going to be dealing with in this unit.